in prior presentations. So when people have questions about should they be tracking things for itemized deductions because sometimes it takes more paperwork like to track the medical expenses and whatnot if that were to be a deductible charitable expenses possibly should we be tracking that kind of information or is it not worth doing given the fact that we're just going to be taking the standard deduction so again usually you can look at the prior tax return and say did you itemize last year and if you didn't has anything changed and therefore it's likely that you're not going to be itemizing in the current year and you can also basically again think does someone own a home or not if they don't own a home especially if they're not uh, well off if they're on the low to moderate income and don't own a home it's likely that they're just going to be taking the standard deduction because their itemized deductions will not be large enough to be clearing the standard deduction so this is the first page of uh the form 1040 we're focused down in line 12 where we have the standard deduction or itemized deduction you can see that it's referencing the schedule a here the schedule a is the itemized deduction form note on the left hand side you can also see the standard deductions these are the general standard deductions based on filing status if they're if they're not adjusted for age and uh like if someone was blind or something like that this is the itemized deduction worksheet we can only see a few of the categories but you can see medical and dental taxes you paid interest and so on and so forth we'll go through each of these categories in more detail as we go through this section